This, and then I read Alpha Blondie talking about Donald Trump, Swamp Taller, Susan Kovach, Sandy Levine praying for Donald Trump to part the Red Sea, Alma again, Swamp Taller, Larry Tischler says, hello everybody, praying for holy intentions, Casey Dacus is here, please help me pray for my friend Mary Pat, that she beats cancer, praying for those in purgatory and for those who have no one to pray for them, good morning, WFRN family. Okay, thanks, Casey. Susan Kovach again. Mary Maria Panadurai. <laughs> William Stilling sends hugs. <laughs> Swamp says, I submitted my exemption request for the spoonful of sugar procedure. Okay, well, good. I hope, certainly pray that you get it, Swamp. And everybody should do that if you're faced with that dilemma from the government, that, uh, which is a prefigure to the mark of the beast, I mean, it's pretty obvious. And the fact that the Pope is all gung-ho for the spoonful of sugar, that should tell you. Because that's what the Bible says. It is the false prophet, not the Antichrist, who causes everyone to take the mark of the beast. And that's why you find Francis out there supporting the uh, spoonful of sugar for everybody. Maria Panadurai, where am I here? Let's see. William Stillings says that Alpha is okay. Okay. Well, he says that Trump is not kosher. <laughs> no, but his daughter married a uh, uh, practicing Jew. Uh, what's his name? Uh, who did who did Ivanka Trump marry? Can't think of his name. He's practicing Jewish, and she converted for him. So they're raising their children in that faith. <clears throat> Let's see. Pray 153. Tina Sissel. Sam Fisher Sr. is here. Good morning, my dear. Prayer warriors. William says that what Jesus of Nazareth is great and died for our sins. Oh, William Stilling says, I need hugs. Oh, okay. I thought you were giving us hugs. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> UL Phil complains that Trump is not speaking out against mandates. Well, yeah, I, I think he will. Uh, William says, where are my hugs? <laughs> okay, William Stillings wants hugs, people. Anybody going to give William Stillings a hug? <laughs> and William Stillings says that the mandate is not law. Well, of course it's not law. That's because I don't think I don't think Congress has the votes to make it law. So they're going by executive order, and and Donald Trump, or, uh, Biden does not have the authority to issue a mandate like that, causing everybody to take the you know what. He doesn't have that authority, as you say, it's not law. The executive branch executes laws; it does not make laws. At least that's the way it's supposed to go, according to our Constitution. But all of Washington. Ignores the Constitution totally. That's why all the January 6th protesters are still in jail. They don't, they're not being given a speedy trial. The Constitution guarantees a speedy trial. No, not, not, not if you're opposed to the deep state. The deep state runs the country. And if you want, read the dreams of Dana Coverstone, you'll know that the snake chain is, is going out from Washington and it's going to enslave all the states. Let's see. Tina Sislow, pray one, five, three, digital market. Susan Kovach. Uncle Jalapeno is here. I'm back with y'all after a well-deserved vacation. Okay, welcome back, Uncle. Sam is here. Pieta Rosary, praying for all holy intentions and those in need of healing. Uncle Jalapeno says, your ABBA video is very interesting. The song is also very catchy. Okay, thanks, Uncle Jalapeno. Yes, I have to admit, my ABBA explanation or decode is very interesting. And I think it's right on. A lot of people have... It's my most popular video in quite a few months. And I think quite a few people agree with me that it is accurate. Susan says that Sam had an Edward Snowden follow him last night. Okay, and then he added later, it says, perhaps, Susan, we will never know if it's really him or not. Uh, Dale Foyt Foti points out that Trump doesn't drink. Yes, he's very fastidious about eating and 
drinking. He doesn't drink. Okay, let's see here we are. United Hearts says, I think ABBA is going to be used by the One World Church to unite people. Well, that would be out of the Vatican, and I don't see Donald Trump promoting ABBA. Uh, not Donald Trump. Pope Francis promoting ABBA at all. I don't, I don't see that myself. Okay, Larry Tischler, Susan Kovach. Sandra Lavini comments on Peter Perrine's song, which, as usual, he did a very good job on, singing a Kenneth Copeland song. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost says, I want to believe it either, but Donald Trump is corrupt. Oh, that's not true. I have all the proof. Well, let us know. When the Bible says even the elect can be deceived, and it, Trump is the Antichrist, he is acting just like Biden. Well, of course, that's all wrong. Here, here Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, I'll tell you how you can tell that Donald Trump is a white hat. He is hated in the media. That's how you can tell. He is still, every day I get the Yahoo News and every day they attack Donald Trump or people associated with him. It's a constant barrage and it has been for the last six years. And you know that. That's how you can tell. In fact, that's the advantage of listening, of the news media, is that you know who the good guys are by who they attack. And nobody is attacked more than Donald Trump in the news media. So that's how you can tell. And you say he's acting just like Biden. The news media, they prop up Biden every day in the media. And he needs propping up. Okay, let's see. Parent alert says, a handful of pine needles put to infuse in hot to combat the effects of the spike protein for the you-know-what. Okay, uh, I've heard of that. That could be. Uh, Tina Sizzle says, Trump isn't the Antichrist. The Antichrist doesn't come onto the scene until after the warning. Well, how true that is, Tuna. Tina. Not only that, but he sets the the uh, Antichrist sets himself up in the Vatican. He, his, he leads from Rome. Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. That's what Mary prophesied at Lazarus. Rome has lost the faith. The first part of the prophecy has come true. The second part we are waiting for. And that's when the Antichrist sets himself up in the Vatican. That will be the second part of her prophecy. The first three beasts in Daniel 7 have all come and gone. The lioness, the bear, and the leopard. All we're waiting for now is the fourth and final beast, and that is the Antichrist. Holy Spirit says, you all look to Trump to fix the world, and it is the biggest deception. It is an illusion. <laughs> well, I told you how to tell he's the white man, but uh, you're right, he doesn't fix the world. Do you know who fixes the world? <laughs> Uh, do you, Holy Spirit, do you know who fixes the world? It is not Donald Trump. You're right. Donald, you won't believe this, but Donald Trump has prophesied to fix the church. That's why he appears in this, va this Vatican, this, this lightning strike over the Vatican. That's his profile. That's his profile in the Vatican. This is the lightning that struck the Vatican at exactly 5.55 p.m. on the day that Pope Benedict was forced out. That's a that's because Donald Trump is going to save the church. It is Mary who saves the country. Or as the Protestant prophet Kim Clement prophesied, it's the woman. He called her Esther. And the Protestants will say before we hated her, but now we love her. The Protestants are going to be converted. They are the, uh, they are the child in Revelation 12 who are caught up to the throne. They are, they be, they're the ones who are raptured. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Phil says, he always gives me trouble on this. He says, uh, you cannot possibly use the media as your basis to judge someone good or bad. Well, I think it's pretty accurate. I would say 99% of the time, that's good enough for me. If the media attacks Trump as they have for six years continuously, that's how you know he's a good guy. Now, I'm not saying he's not perfect. I mean, we all know he's not perfect. You, you have the 
a weird idea that the Pope or the president is supposed to be perfect, and they're not. They're not supposed to be perfect. St. Peter was an example. I'm sure that St. Peter made mistakes to let us know that we are not supposed to look to our leaders as, as uh, gods. That's, they're not supposed to be idols. We worship Jesus. He is the almighty God that we worship. And I don't know if I, I try to make this all clear to everybody. Holy Spirit wants to know, do you know who the Moonies are? Well, yeah, that was a long time ago. I haven't heard about the Moonies in quite a while. Uh, Susan says, to parent alert, others are said to be toxic. Holy Spirit says, and with that, I yield back. Okay, Holy Spirit just yielded back. What did he say before he, uh, may the Lord be with you. Okay, thanks, Holy Spirit. Well, we listened to all your comments. <laughs> We're glad you're here. Nothing makes the uh, conversation more interesting than to have somebody that disagrees with us. And as Rush Limbaugh said, he always put the people who disagreed. It's pretty boring to have people come on here all the time and say, you're wonderful, Mr. T. I mean, I don't mind it. The more people that say, you're wonderful, it's, that's fine. Did I ever tell you that story about... <laughs> <laughs> makes me laugh every time. Well, I'll tell you the little story. Have I got time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, my nieces and nephews. I was telling my nieces and nephews. I think I've told you this before. I'll tell you that. And we would get family. We would have family get-togethers on Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. Three days, three summer days in the summer. They would all come up, come up to my camp in the Adirondacks, and we would have a get-together. My sister had 13 kids. My brother had four. And so we had big family get-togethers, lots of fun. So, and I know I would always have to have to try to think of ways to entertain the kids at night. I mean, we would say the rosary together, and my sister insisted on that. God bless her for doing that. And as a result, all of our kids still go to church. Anyway, and she had two of them become priests, and one became a nun. So, anyway, uh, so the kids were all around, sitting around. And we were shooting the breeze as usual. I was telling them that we all have, when we get to heaven, we all have a secret name that only God knows and that the, I, we know. And then we communicate to God back and forth through that secret name. That's how he will call us. He will call us by the name that only he knows. And they, of course, they were listening with fascination because it's an interesting topic. And then when, when we were all done, I kind of said in a low voice, I happen to know what my name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uncle Bill, tell us, tell us, what's your name? What's your name? Of course, they all were hollering the name. Uncle Bill, tell us what your name is. And I finally said, okay, I'll tell you what it is. My name is Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, gee. You should have heard that. What, what that set off, <laughs> Mister Wonderful. So they did not. They did not accept my idea that God was going to call me Mister Wonderful. <laughs> no, we had a lot of fun with the kids. They're all grown up now. My sister's oldest is fifty years old. Believe it or not, I can't believe it myself. Holy Spirit, Owen. Oh, I. Skipped over Carla Cacciatore. Oh, I skipped over. Oh, dear. It looks to me like the... Uh, let me see here. Oh, here we are. Uh, Swamp says, Sandra, I just remembered a character in Catch-22 named Snowden who always moaned that he was so cold. I'm not too familiar with that book. I've read it, but I, I don't remember that. Your mom says, I know who the Moonies are. Are you trying to sell us flowers? Oh, yeah, I guess the, the, the Moonies, is that how they raised money, selling flowers? I guess they did. United Hearts is praying for Alma. Parental alert says, humbly, I suspect Donald Trump could be a distraction, so we accept him with open arms as a hero. To be continued if he is to be installed in the Vatican. Well, Donald Trump won't be installed in the Vatican. Donald Trump does lead the church, but not from the Vatican. It's the Antichrist who is installed in the Vatican. Fratura says, Revelation 18, Every sea captain and all who travel by ship, the sailors and all who earn their living from the seas will stand afar off. Could this be the cargo ships off our shores? Uh, that could be, Fratura. That's an interesting comment. You're right. Um, boy, that's a pretty close image, isn't it, to what's in the Bible? If, if we were burned with fire in one hour right now, 
all those captains in those cargo ships, they would they would moan because uh, it's the United States who buys all their goods. That's a perfect image of the United States, by the way. There are 28 items listed in Revelation, which the harlot buys and purchases, makes people rich. It's primarily the United States. Sandra says to Tina, did William just call you Tuna instead of Tina? <laughs> I don't doubt it. Sometimes I make a mistake. I'm not supposed to be perfect either, you know. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. What I probably need is one of uh, Joyce Adkai's medicines here for a cola. These are lemon mint, sugar-free. I can eat all, all of these I want. No sugar. So that I just called Tina Tuna, that's very likely. I'm sorry if I did. I apologize. My mom once did that when reading a note I was sending to a friend. She started out, Dear Tuna. <laughs> <sighs> Laughing my head off, true. <laughs> Dear Tuna. Okay, now Carla Cacciatore gives, you should write this down, people. Uh, Carla Cacciatore gives the um, Zoom passcode that you need for that meeting is that's tonight right okay john and carol leary john and carol leary with nilda rodriguez 7 to 11 i think it only lasted until 10 last time well maybe it is 11 7 to 11 eastern time so she gives the meeting id and the passcode and you have to have zoom on your computer you have to download that app that's not hard to do and I think I will try to tune in tonight if I can remember. Uh, but I'm not going to just sit here for four hours and watch it like I did last time. I'm going to have something to do because, I mean, they're talking all the time and you don't have to. This, it's, there's nothing visual about the program. So I'm going to set up my iPad and out where I do my drafting for my music uh, pro videos. And I'm going to do my write out my music. That's what I'm going to do. And listen at the same time. And I bet Dale Fulte is going to listen because she she had a lot of questions. She had a lot of the same questions that I did at the, the last meeting. Holy Spirit says, thanks for answering my questions or comments. I just hear Trump's name more than Jesus. Well, <laughs> that's very possible. Okay. Oh dear, the chat took off again, people. I am going to cut this out. I'm going to let you read everything else here because we're coming near the end in, anyway. United Heart says, Holy Spirit, is no harm in being cautious. Karen Herrera says, A hermit where the house in Loretta was placed by the angels, he also was the creator of the Pia Tom book, <clears throat> made a prediction of Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Well, I don't think you can get much stronger prediction than from Almighty God himself when he struck the Vatican with lightning and he put Donald Trump's profile. This was long before Donald Trump was on the scene. He puts Donald Trump's profile in that lightning strike. That's not accidental, people. That's a sign from heaven. Can't get much clearer than that. Larry Tischler says, the media are 85 to 95% wrong. That's being generous. Use them to go 180 degrees away. And you have a very good chance of being correct. This is true. This is how I do it. I don't have to try to figure out if a person is decent or not. I mean, they're always propping up people like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. Well, you know that they're villains. And that's the truth. United Hearts, UL Phil, Holy Spirit. Sandra Levine says, that's wonderful about your sister and your children, William. Well, we did have a lot of good times, and unfortunately those times are all past, but they leave fond memories. United Heart says, didn't it also say that their products will not be purchased? You're talking about in Revelation. Well, yes, that's why the merchants are weep and mourn. 
That's because no one will buy their merchandise any longer. That's exactly what the Bible says. <clears throat> okay, everybody, it's uh, I think everybody else is going to have to read the rest of the chat yourself because we're past the time. I try to keep this program under an hour and we're already over. So until I see all of you again, oh, don't forget Sam Fisher tonight is he's on D Live, he's not on YouTube any longer, he's on D Live. It's easy enough to find you, go to his channel. And you uh, click on the only video. He's only got one video on his YouTube channel. They can't block him for one video. They blocked his other video. Took him down for a week. And he went over to DLive. And he's very happy he did. Because he can speak his mind over there. You can say anything you want in the chat. We're very restricted over here. There's no freedom of speech on YouTube. That's because they're owned by Google. When Google buys up DLive, which eventually they will, then uh, there won't be freedom of speech over there. But for now... We still have freedom of speech. So he's on at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the channel called D Live. And then I will be back tomorrow morning, same time, same station. And until I do see all of you again, may God bless all of you. And may all of you have a very blessed day. <laughs>